You're welcome. Stuck, Stuck in, in your brain, brain now, too. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Yep, Corbin. Wee. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Why? Why? Why, Rick? Why? It helps the algorithm. Wow. And today. Sorry, I wanted to sing a cappella for a second. It worked. And we are doing a movie review. <laughs> And since it is February, I don't know if I'm doing an official romance month, but we are going to do romance films. Uh, and so, obviously... Films today, that are romantic. Today we are doing a review of the... I guess it would be qualified as a romance film. Yes. <laughs> Lamhe. Uh, <laughs> I, I, well, it's, I think it, it qualifies. There's a, there's Why a, were you doubting? There's a gray area here. What else would it be? Um... Psychological thriller. <laughs> anyways, yes, clearly. <laughs> uh, but anyways, obviously we're doing the uh, 1991 great year, by the way. Uh, Lamhe, is that how you pronounce it? I would think so. Lamhe, yeah, Lamhe. Uh, directed by Yash. Very Chopra. unknown actor. Most, I mean, director. Yeah, most, most people are unfamiliar. And with... produced by him. Yeah. Uh, I, I now I also wanted to get to uh, some romance films that he directed as well. I, mean, I know we've seen some, but. Since he has that big romance kind yeah. of series coming out that yeah. we are uh, pretty excited for, I wanted to get some more films so we can get a lot more references and that kind of stuff as yeah. well. Yeah. Produced, directed by him. Uh, screenplay by Honey Irani, and dialogue by Rahi yeah. Rahi Masum Reza. And starring, uh, once again, a couple of unknowns: uh, Anil Kapoor, Sri Devi, and Anna Pankur everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and obviously a, a whole heap of other people but anyways obviously this came out in 1991 if you haven't watched it we saw it on Amazon you can yeah. go watch it come back I think a lot I mean this is it's kind of a cult classic uh, a lot of people know of this film yeah uh, uh, quite a bit but if you haven't watched it go watch it come back because this will be a spoiler filled room. big time big time your initial thoughts please Rick well there's a lot that we're going to talk about but my biggest takeaway from this is probably one of the greatest lines in cinema Cinematic history, oh God. which is, don't hit a retarded child. Please, I'm gonna bleep that out. I, Why? It's something that's in the movie. I'm aware. It makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's it makes it's me so, so awful. Speaking of which, this is probably one of the single greatest compilations of putrefying, horrendous. You had a split second to just say something. Awful white acting oh, yeah. in the history of all cinema on the planet. Sometimes they didn't even say anything. They no! Ruined it, right? They ruined it, right? It, <laughs> you just saw the back of their head and you knew, oh, God, please don't say anything. But And they to, ruined it just by all, not saying anything. In, exactly. In all seriousness, this is one of the most excruciating movies yeah. I've actually ever liked. Yeah, it's... it's I. This is a, a, a very... It's her pain. It's a very interesting film, and I think the most interesting part is the dialogue you kind of have to have. Because oftentimes, I often say, I was like, we don't judge films off of our modern day lens, but sometimes it's a little difficult yeah. uh, based off of some scenarios. But also, the, the, there's a whole different aspect of just the filmmaking and the beauty and, and the, the well-madeness of a film as mm -hmm. well that, yeah. that we'll, we'll talk about. But then there's also the, uh, I would call it, Semi problematic, problematic. It's, uh, some people well, don't think so as well. Well, that's just subject matter. And yeah. then there's also some glaringly hideous moments when it comes to acting. Uh, on a poem? Everybody. Okay. It, the one who has it the least is Sri Devi. Yeah. And then Anil Kapoor. But pretty much everyone, one of my favorite things, and it's just the standard of the day, and it just drives me crazy, is. How many times people are directed to say their line into the middle distance? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that's um, my favorite. But, you know, just... Um, so I was talking to them and I told them that I would tell them about the days that I remember so long ago <laughs> when I was a child back at the river. You remember those days when we used to walk along the sand and... It's just yeah, how it is. It's, it's, it's rough. It's just how it was. It's right? rough. Yeah, but Anupam Kerr, should we start with him? Since this uh, yeah. is his movie, so we'll 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 get into the uh, the subject matter. 
in a little bit, then we'll t we'll talk about the filmmaking like we normally do first. Yeah, uh, I think the most interesting part is actually the uh, the subject matter and what some people think would be problematic, some people well, don't think is problematic. The biggest issue I have with the film is the age difference. How how is an age difference like that ever going to work between two? Oh wait, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the I don't think it's particularly the age difference as opposed to <laughs> now that was anyway, just to all the haters who told yeah. me that Indrani and I would never work uh, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, let's get into the the uh, acting, the story first. But actually, I'll, we'll get to an um, Anupam Kerr in a second. <laughs> yeah, we will. How can you not? Uh, the most Anupam Kerr I've ever seen. In my oh, life. Uh, but he was more Anupam Kerr than Anupam Kerr. That's true. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about uh, the, our two leads first because yeah. uh, I, I especially enjoyed them. Um, but Sri Devi, first and foremost, obviously she's a phenomenal actress. India loves dual roles more than oh, yeah. any country I've ever seen. Ever seen? Yeah. They just they love their stars having yep. two characters I knew played by the same actor in a movie. When she died, which I loved, <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, she died, but she's not gone. No. She'll Guarantee, she will be There's back. There's uh, hour forty-five. Oh yeah, just how are they going to bring her back? But she will be back. <laughs> yes, absolutely. absolutely. But uh, I, especially in the first hour, I was, her just beauty was just dripping. What? Okay, my word, is what, she one of the most gorgeous women? What technically would you say the color of her eyes are? Are they light brown or hazel brown? They are stars. Yeah. <laughs> They're like a, almost a color I've never seen. Yeah, they are. Her 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 eye color is just magnetic. She uh, she has. She, I, I equate her a lot to like uh, Zoe Deschanel in terms of like Zoe Deschanel has these massive massive eyes. Right. Um, and that's one of uh, the, one of the, the things the attributes attributes about her. But man, she, she obviously in the beginning when she was just in you know dancing and in the, in the Rajasthani the, uh, traditional clothing and. She was just, I mean, the entire film, she was gorgeous, but especially that first hour when it was adult Sri Devi, or, I mean, I guess they're both technically adults, right? Yeah. But were, um, yeah. the mom, Sri Devi. Right. Um, she was just so gorgeous. Like, it's just, <laughs> you just, it's almost like when you sit there, but different, uh, like when a shari will rise on the screen. You're just yeah. Like, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it must be easy for this director. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's, it must be easy for every leading man. I just like... One of my compliments of Anil Kapoor is I believe 100% he's in love with her. Oh, yeah. Well, how can you not look at Sri Devi uh -huh. and just be flabbergasted because she's such a beautiful, yes. beautiful lady? And uh, I thought, uh, outside of obviously when she was like directed to, you know. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's it's just the it's the time, it's the time. of the day and uh, and like when they want them to act like a little childish. It's always like so different to how, you know, people in the West would do Exactly. certain scenes but They're it's very just different very common as well you gotta and have that you have to have those you know what it's like mm. watching Indian particularly Hindi cinema of this day and age you have to have a particular lens on to appreciate it for what it is or you're gonna not enjoy the experience in the same way that if you went into a 3d film without the glasses on mm. you're just gonna be annoyed yeah you, you have to have a certain perspective to appreciate yeah it. I saw I don't think this film is totally that because I think there's a lot of good things about this film in terms of like how it was directed and, and yeah the the uh, weavingness of the story and all that but I thought Sri Devi did a, a very good job I thought Anil Kapoor also <laughs> it was so funny in the beginning. He looks so young. I know, younger than Mister India. I yeah, like. he looked without very, the mustache, very young. and he was like, <laughs> but like he's a very subdued actor, obviously. But then obviously there were times as well. <laughs> that Boy, was his character slap happy. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yes, people had a problem with Cutter Singh. <laughs> But uh, and, and it was amazing in memory. Sometimes it was a backhand. Sometimes it was a forehand. I loved the fact that they made a song. A uh, song the about the slap. And it was her flash dance moment. The, yeah, yeah. I loved it. Actually, I, I was too. like, oh, this is like a footloose, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. A, a angry dance. I, I did love it moment. But then they incorporated the slaps into the over song over and over, uh, which I thought was a, a lot of fun. The songs in this were gorgeous. Yeah, which I, the songs are my I, some of my favorite. Parts. I wouldn't. I mean, I I would have been shocked if the songs weren't gorgeous. Of course. Just, uh, the time of Bollywood, the yeah. what I know about this film, we see we saw one song when she was giving them that glob glob nine thousand in the uh, helicopter. <laughs> I saw it again. Yep, she was and, on. And I also appreciated in the score we had the main theme, 
but there were also variations on the theme throughout the yeah. film where you would hear it, but it was either changed by tempo yeah. or even changed melodically, so it sounded more positive, and then yeah. it was yeah. really nice. I 100% believed Anil Kapoor fell in love with her yeah, for immediately, sure. yeah. uh, which is not surprising. You could put any man, I guess, in that or woman <laughs> in that scenario, and they probably would have yeah. fallen in love with Sri Devi yeah. because of how gorgeous she is, right? Yeah. Um, and I, so I believe they were, I believe that this young girl was infatuated with him yes <laughs> creepily so <laughs> um uh once again yeah, since she was five <laughs> so we'll get into that yeah um uh, anil kapoor <laughs> man there was a moment where someone said how can you tolerate this man and i thought uh, it's really hard <laughs> It's it's getting really and hard for seen, me to tolerate this we've man. We've seen in this movie. Anil and it, it. You mean Anupam Kerr? Anupam Kerr, sorry. Yeah. Um, in many films, be this style, be like this, yes. And we've all seen him be very subdued, and it's he's. I think of a very versatile. Sometimes this stuff works really well, but I think it's more when this works when everybody else is on his level. Yeah, like in. Uh, or whatever the SRK films that he's in, right? And that right. he's the dad. Right. This, he was like so drastically above everyone else. It yeah, was there was like no. Just there, shocking to me. There wasn't anything charming about it to me in the same way that there is like in DDLJ and things yeah. of that nature. Yeah. There, there wasn't any charm. It was just, oh, good grief. <laughs> Somebody tell this guy to ratchet it down a notch. And that's coming from a New York Italian loud improv comedic guy yeah. thinking, good grief. Grief, this hurts. Do you remember uh, in, in Harvest? Do you remember Paula Roche? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Sorry, that's a very personal. You know, you absolutely, know, no, no. Paula Roche he's, uh, he was, is on a pump curve. He was a, a local theater Great actor. Guy. That he was in our church. And, yeah, and, uh, and <laughs> he was very sweet, guy. very similar. <laughs> yeah, in terms of acting style. Yes. Um, but yeah, he was the most like. I mean, he brought it down at some points, and I was like, okay. Especially this, at the end. The last is, 30 minutes, he This kind of is nicer chill pill. here. Take a chill um, pill on a boom. And obviously, I know that was his character. I know he was directed to do that. Yes, and that of kind course. Of stuff, but it was just it's written that way. It was like, hey, it was like a, sh a punch to the face. He gets credit for going all in at the end. <laughs> the whole time. Because yeah. one of the things you want, no matter what the genre is, one of the things you want your actors to bring, if you're the director and the writer and the cast, you want them to come in with way more yeah. and have them bring it down right. rather than try to draw something out of them. Yeah. He he brought it all, man. <laughs> this is he not was by, unleashed. Not by Adam Kerr, but there's a, another, obviously, that first line that you said, which was so... I oh, took a picture it, of it. <laughs> I, took a, I took a picture of two lines. That okay. line that you said, because it's just... People used it all the time back in the day, Hollywood, everywhere, in, in regular life, and it's just, and, well, and, and looking now in 2023, it's like, oh my god. But it didn't mean any, back then, I, I, I can vouch for yeah. this, being alive in that era at a time when it was used all the time. Yeah. You would call somebody retarded huh. as, but because the only definition we had for people at the time who suffered from any kind of what at the time was called mental retardation. Yeah. It was a standard to call somebody retarded. It didn't yeah. carry the level of yeah. insult that it should have, yeah. as it does today. Yeah. Um, so I took a picture <laughs> of that, but there's also a line that Sri Devi says that when she's talking to Anupam Kerr's would-be wife. Right. And she says, why are you so emotional? And she says, I'm Indian. I'm Indian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a great moment. I also thought it was written pretty well. That moment where they're having the meal, oh, yeah. or the, the vanilla ice cream, Sri Devi was vicious. Sri Devi was just straight up. She was vicious. Cold. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm scared of you. Yeah, and, by, and did it with a smile. Yeah, she did. Just she, cold. She was like, it was... And, and now I guess we could get into some of the... Obviously, I love the, the overall score, like I, I said before, and it's, it's beautiful. I think a lot of the way it was weaved, because I thought it was going to almost be a Casablanca situation in the beginning of, yeah. oh, it's going to be like a love triangle. Right, oh, that's me too. That's interesting. And right. then, she died, he died, everybody died. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just so interesting how Indian films just do, like, you're dead! <laughs> and then how people die. I also, oh. I also this, is, this is just not good writing, but it's kind of endearing for the time. Where the way you propel the story forward was not just exposition in the opening about, hey, we've been here for three days, and now we all know you've been there for three days, but this. Hello? You lost the case. We're losing everything! Huh! 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> With a matter of 60 seconds. Yes. <laughs> um, you got you to gotta push the story forward. Got to push the In a uh, three-hour film, it took him 60 seconds well, to do that. Tree Devi was still alive at this moment. She That's didn't need to kill her. Absolutely. Um, and then, <laughs> that was fast, too. They killed her. Oh, like oh, she's she's got oh, she was in a car crash. She yeah, he's dead. He's she's dead. in critical she's condition. Dead. Yeah, you lost the place. What? Do you, do you want to save the baby or her? No, save her. And oh, the, the baby's fine. She's dead. And the antagonists who get the place, we don't even know why they won the case. Maybe her dad did something really heinous, and that's why he lost the case. Yeah, we don't but know. But then why. when they show up, they're obviously they're practically twiddling their mustaches. Yeah, <laughs> give us our property. Yeah, it was almost. Um, I think was it from the bad guys from. Um, What's that dragon movie? Um, How to Train Your Dragon? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, the green, the green dragon. Um, is an old film. Oh. Uh, not Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, why am I forgetting? Never no, ending story. That's not no, a dragon. No, no, no. It's it's an animated dragon. Oh. But everybody else is real. Oh, Pete's dragon. Pete's dragon. Yeah. The villains in that. I forget what their names are. I don't but remember. I, I asked Steph uh, their names, and it's very similar to the yeah. the, the maniacal kind right. of right. Uh, so, let, uh, did you find the story at all problematic? Any part of it problematic? Um, there was a part where there's two things I had particularly a problem the with. love story. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Theory. Here's one thing I had a problem with was another freaking Kashi. What? Anita, man. Here's another woman loving a guy for years, oh, yeah. and he just ditches her. Even though she was totally in love and dedicated to the guy. Granted, you shouldn't... Good grief. Granted, obviously, he shouldn't have pulled her along if he wasn't in love with her. Exactly. That's his fault. But yes. that's what I mean. She was the Kashi in this. Don't Again. just marry somebody just um, because they love you, obviously. But don't pull them along either. No, no. If there's one thing I had that was problematic for me, it was I didn't feel... And again... Look at the film and the time and the kind yeah, yeah, of film yeah. that it is. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like there was some, anything in the script that really did give me a justification for him saying he truly did only love her for her. Yeah. I think that was an entire crock of crap. At the end. Yeah. yeah. He loved her because she reminded him yeah, yeah, of yeah. her mom. Yeah. That, Period. Um, and I was... Versus I, loving her for her. I was struggling with once I the film ended and I wish it it didn't and I'm, that's, I'm not going to fault the film for it. It... it I, I kind of I knew how it was going to end. Oh, of I was course. like, oh god, they're, they're going to be together. They're going to be together. Of course. But I didn't want it because I was liking how the dynamic of I was like, okay, Anil Kapoor obviously loved Sri Devi. He's struggling with the fact that she looks very good. But I was right. believing him. I was like, I don't think he loves you. Right. I think he's like he's he's, he's a, the he, idea. He loves the idea. He's like you look like the person I love. Right. You are not. Right. You also I saw you grow up. Right. Which is. There's, like age difference obviously doesn't really mean anything to me obviously as you uh, as long as you're adults right obviously. exactly as, as long, long as, as you adult. have become but adults <laughs> the issue the gray area I would say lies in like let's say um, this is the scenario uh, I saw um, your granddaughter right grow up right and then once she turned 18 we got together right that's a little strange yeah right Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that's that's the problematic part. I'm like that's a, that adds a level of strangeness to it. It would be it's comparable. Not, it's not Woody Allen. No. Strange. <laughs> right. Obviously, that's Good point. That's a different. That's a different thing. Uh, level. Right. Of weirdness, because right. obviously he wasn't her father, uh, and obviously uh, um, he, she didn't really see him as a father figure, but he did see her grow up. She. Um, it's not bad for her really to. Um, be in love with an older person, that's very common for kids very to, common. to be like, oh, I love this man. He's like, yeah. I, I want to marry my dad when I'm older kind of thing, right. obviously. Right. Um, and so that's not really the strange part. But, like, if I was to, like, yeah, be single example. and then I'd not date her when she was younger, but then once she turned 18, she showed interest in me. And you'd question, how long have you shown interest in this little girl? You absolutely. I mean, right. When, when did that light switch turn on so i yes. i think they could have avoided all that and just ended it like with him going his own way and it's almost a tragic tragedy especially for sri devi yeah and um him thinking oh i could have been with this girl even though she wasn't actually her yeah that's how i was or even it. or even addressed it yeah i mean again it's not that kind of film yeah <laughs> but i knew how it was gonna end but had that been addressed in some way where one of the struggles he's having is that yeah. moral conundrum. Because yeah. if you have a, a, a sense of propriety, yeah. 
the idea is gonna cross your mind. Yeah, absolutely. And you'll you'll justify. Yeah. What, but even in an age difference. Yeah. If you're honest, you're going to address it. For example, my wife and I. Yeah. The the moment we both realized we had been falling in love with each other, mm -hmm. it was a matter of days. Mm -hmm. We were conversing about how realistic is this relationship. Yeah. You're in India. I'm in America. That was one thing. Yeah. Can we handle the long distance? Yeah. Number two, age difference. Do you want children? Do yeah. I want more children? Yeah. Um, am I okay with the fact that I could be dead in 20 years? Mm -hmm. Is she okay with the fact I could be, be dead in 20 years? years? You, you are brutally honest about yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Granted, it's not the kind of movie. No, no, but it no, would have no. been nice to have seen it no, addressed in some I, way. I thought in some way. The, the end was very rushed. Like, in terms of them, like... It happened oh, almost yeah. in the last five minutes, right? He had a very quick turnaround of... Yeah, yeah. no, you know what? Actually, you don't smell like her. You don't, you don't really look like her. You don't make me feel like her. Uh, BS. Dude. I honestly probably would have preferred it to... Like, you could have... I could have... I could cut this movie without adding anything to end correctly. And it could have been like and three hours is, is rough. He got yeah well, yeah three hours. That's was rough. expected from the, the time. Yeah, um, it could have how I would have preferred it to end. Uh, once again, I'm not taking away from the film. This is just how why after watching it, I think this could have even been a better movie ending this way because you end you leave people with like questions and longing and I'll stuff tell you like what that. I wanted you tell but me what like, you wanted at the end, and I have I had a very he could have said he married her whether he did or not means no, nothing to me. You could speculate as the audience whether he did. And then the end, her giving that speech at the, doing like almost the play kind of thing, I think that would have been a perfect ending okay. to just end it We're there. on the same page. I think that would have been perfect. Here's what I was hoping for, but knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I knew it wasn't going to happen. He's telling her, no, I see a different gleam in your eye. You smell different, that yeah. whole nine yards. She didn't have any facial change. He says, I love you. Yeah. No facial change. He extends his arms. No facial change. She starts walking up to him. I wanted her to slap him. <laughs> that would be cool, too. And say, you're deceiving yourself. Yeah. And you're playing with my emotions. Yeah. And it end with the heartbreak of, could they have ever been together? Yeah, that would have been great, too. I would have and if that. she had said the monologue there, yeah. after slapping him... That would have been epic for me. Yeah, but it, you knew it was going to end no, with them happy. Yeah, it's, it's together. Old, everything's great. Old school Bollywood. Of course, I, you knew it was going to end up together. It's just yes, the standard fare of the day. They have to be happy in the end. Absolutely. Um, and if you don't think this film is problematic, you can let us know why you don't think it's problematic at all. Uh, whether you because uh, I I posted it on Patreon uh, right after I finished the film. I was right. like, just finished it. I'm gathering my thoughts of what right, I think right. about it. Do you think this film is at all problematic? Yes, explain why. No, explain why. I got over a hundred comments of people both ways explaining both if they ways. think it's but extremely it's problematic right. or if it's not problematic at all. But there's two aspects yeah. of it. I'm interested in which of the ones they considered because obviously you and I find the aspect of he's known her since childhood. Yeah. Not necessarily the age gap. Yeah, no, that makes no difference to me. Me too. I like if I'm he, interested to know how many people have if, a problem with just the age gap itself. Yeah, I mean there's people that there will be people, of course. That, but I mean, if he just met this random person that he had never met before, who looks like her, which we've who seen looks that, like her, hasn't she done a film where she probably? Yeah, we've seen a film where she's done that. And she was like an 18 year old woman, uh, however old, as long as she's an adult. Um, and they met at his age, and her as a legal adult, right? And uh, but they didn't know each other as children. Like he didn't uh, like see her grow up, right? I wouldn't have had an issue. Right. I was like, okay, you're two consenting adults. You guys do what you'd like to no, do. No, to me, I thought about that. And it's still... This morning, before I came here, I thought, if Indrani had died and had a kid that grew up <laughs> look, and looked like her, it'd be, it'd be really but, weird But granted, me. you've also been dating Indrani. Sri Devi right. never loved never, him. Never returned. But even still. Yeah, it's that, It's still a gray area. I can't think of any ex I've had who, yeah. if they had a kid, grew up and looked like them, I wouldn't be a little weirded out on myself by the fact that I was yeah. liking them. It's, it, it's it, problematic. At, it's at minimum a gray area. Right. At, at minimum. minimum. At minimum. Uh, so mm -hmm. you guys, got, I think the conversation is fun, though, to, uh, to for a film like this to stirp. Conversation. Yeah. I think that's that's good for a film to do, uh, as opposed to like, oh yeah, uh, that's that standard fare kind of kind right. of film. I thought it was very interesting. I, I I enjoyed the film. I think it's a good film. Yeah. I ultimately, um, even for yeah. all of the painfulness. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, I still what held it together for me was her. Yeah, like so many films She's we see where Always. it's there's a there's a lone actress who's just holding it all together, and that was this. She never used the yeah. next aspect of that was I for the most part enjoyed a nil in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, and I, I, even as dreadful as it is, I kind of have this guilty pleasure. It would be like I don't eat Fruit Loops or Captain Crunch for breakfast. Uh -huh. But if there might be this one or two times a year, I might just <laughs> venture out and just have it, just to have it. And that's how I feel about Anna Bob Kerr. Granted, though, he's kind of like we saw. I think it was a really good performance in that uh, Ranbir oh, he's, film. He's a solid actor in that Ranbir film, right? Yeah. And no, no, no. He's a solid actor. And I thought we thought he did a good job in Cashmere Files. Files. Yes, he did a very. I think he was probably the strongest performance. Very in, grounded. In Cashmere no, he's Files. a solid actor. Um, he was obviously doing what he was told yeah. to do, especially for the nineties. Yeah, yeah. And he, like I said, he. He gave it all. Yeah, he did. Yep. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next kind of romance film from Yash? Um, I say Yash, it makes me think of KGF. Uh, Yash Chopra, uh, specifically. Uh, and uh, Anil Kapoor and Sri Devi. I know they did quite a few films together. Yes. I think like 12. Yeah, I think so. I don't know that exact number, but or I know that, that there's quite a bit. Short. I can't remember. Anyways, let us know what it should be down below.